to get started, we're gonna be using QTI plot. Um, this is version 5.12.8 and 5.372. We're gonna copy data, and the first time you open QTI plot, you will have a screen here where the table is uh, already created for you. If it doesn't show up there, you can go to File, New, and insert new table right here. You can use Control T or you can come here to the toolbar at the top and make sure that it's selected to new table and it will insert this. Uh, it will create this table for you. You can start inserting the data in the first cell uh, for the x-axis in the first column and data for the y-axis in the second column. That was one way of doing it, if you really have data here in Excel, you can just copy, select those two columns, copy, and come and do a paste here on the table in QTI plot. You can do that by selecting here at the top corner left, or in the first cell, like in the first cell. Either way, will give you the same result. If you say paste normal, it will give you the options if you want to just copy the values or the column names, which usually in this case uh, appear at the top. If, if, if that's the case for you, you can select to insert column names and now that will insert automatically at the top. You can change that later. So that's the second way. The third way, uh, you can um, go and import the data. I already took this Excel file and save it as a data file, a CSV that is delimited by commas. And you can come to file and you can come all the way down, import, import, ASCII or control K. You can also come here at the tool in the toolbar and also over here, import data. You select the path. In this case, I already have selected that. You can come here to the name and select your file. In this case, a sample file one. I can click open and you will have an option here. If it doesn't, if nothing shows up here, it's because you need to change probably the separator. In this case, already the separator is a comma. Uh, you might ignore the first line or not. Uh, in this case, the first line has the uh, column names. I'm going to ignore them. Otherwise, they will appear in the first row. You can still delete that later, but in this case, I'm just going to ignore them. You can click OK, and now it will create, uh, it will insert the data from your CSV.